projection of a vector on a line. How do we define the projection of a vector on a line? Suppose we have a directed line L. If a vector AB makes an angle theta with the given directed line L in the anticlockwise direction, then the projection of AB on L is given as a vector P. The magnitude of vector P is given as magnitude of vector AB cos theta. The vector P is called the projection vector and its magnitude is called the projection of vector AB on the directed line L. The direction of the projection vector P is the same as the direction of line L if cos theta is positive or theta lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees or lies between 270 degrees and 360 degrees. The direction of the projection vector P is opposite to that of the line L if cos theta is negative or theta lies between 90 degrees and 180 degrees or lies between 180 degrees and 270 degrees. Let us now discuss some observations of projection of a vector on a directed line. According to the first observation, if P cap is a unit vector along a directed line L, then the projection of vector A on the line L is given by vector A dot P cap. According to the second observation, the projection of vector A on vector B is given by vector A dot vector B upon magnitude of vector B. According to the third observation, if theta equals to zero, then the projection vector of AB will be AB itself. If theta equals to pi, then the projection vector of AB will be PA. According to the fourth observation, if theta equals to pi by 2 or 3 pi by 2, then the projection vector of AB will be 0. According to the fifth observation, if alpha, beta and gamma are the direction angles of vector A equals to A1i plus A2j plus A3k, then its direction cosine may be given as cos alpha equals to A1 upon magnitude of vector A, cos beta equals to A2 upon magnitude of vector A, cos gamma equals to A3 upon magnitude of vector A. These observations are very useful in solving problems related to vectors.